but I'm really working with my pack right now because I have a strong tendency to uh, carry too much stuff when I go out into the field like this. And as it kind of relates with this minimal, minimalist lifestyle, you know, the fitness when we're out running and things like that, this is the same thing. This is actually very physically demanding because it's a, a full body uh, workout. So with my pack this time, I'm kind of going a little more non-traditional. I'm actually utilizing a uh, pack frame itself. And I have a series of, well, two main bags. One's a camel back and one's a, a smaller bag. But those contain, those contain my essentials, like what I'm going to sleep with tonight, and things like that. Emergencies, change of socks. Um, I also have my food down at the bottom on this tray. Ideally, I wouldn't have things set up that way, but that's just kind of how it turned out here for this, this track. But so far, it's lighter. The majority of my weight is my water, you know, which I am drinking as we go, which I never want to run out of water. Uh, somewhat of my food. I carry more food on this time. It's more of a comfort, you know, level. So trying to scale back there. And that's, uh, it has not been easy to do that because my natural tendencies want to acquire or amass or take with me as much stuff as I can. And that's one of the tendencies that we have as human beings. We just collect things. We collect things physically, stuff, items. We gotta have to have the newest phone to replace the old phone that we have. Newest computer, newest TV, newest car. We collect people in our lives, you know, some are good, some are very good for us, some we love, love to be around, some people we can't stand and wish we weren't around at all. Yeah, we are. But that's what we do is we collect whatever that is. And every time we collect something, a certain amount of baggage comes along with that or a certain amount of weight comes along with that. And then who ends up carrying that? The principle is the same for what I have on my shoulders right now, physically. So, when we talk about a minimalist lifestyle, is what do we have in our lives right now that isn't essential, that is not essential to us to carry around? And that's something that we all need to consider. And that's something on a daily basis too, because this process is a never-ending process. Okay. We'll be back here in a few more hours giving an update on our progress and how things are kind of shaping up and panning out. We'll see you then.